now, ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present a program undefiled, unadulterated, pure, and simply the best four and a half minutes of your day or evening. It's the Ernesto Durango Show. So, sit back and enjoy. And now, your host, Ernesto Durango. In today's show, I thought I would talk a little bit about technology. You know, that thing that you're listening to me on, it's all part of technology. And for years, I used to love technology. So very much I loved technology. Let's think about this a little bit. I had a VCR before anyone had a VCR. As a matter of fact, when I bought my first VHS video recorder, it cost $1,200, it weighed about 100 pounds, and it didn't do anything. It had like two speeds. And uh, the remote control was connected to a cord and all it would do was pause. Blank videotapes cost $25. Does that tell you anything? I had a computer before anyone else did. My first computer was a Commodore 64, followed pretty soon by something called an Atari ST, which was basically a knockoff of the Max, but I thought it was really cool. I thought it was much cooler than the Max. As a matter of fact, it did a lot more than the Macintoshes did in those days, but it never caught on except for a strange, bizarre little core group of people who owned Atari STs. Anyone remember that one? I then went on to the PCs and got the newest and most wonderful Fandango PC that you could get. And I still have PCs floating around here. I have a, a laptop. I've got a couple of desktops. I have computers all over the place. Technology has been wonderful. Oh, by the way, cell phones. I had a cell phone before just about anyone else. And, uh, you know, all the snazzy new Fandango stuff that came with cell phones, I kept trying to get until, you know, all of a sudden, one day, a couple years ago, technology just all of a sudden started to really bug me. I got to where I hated technology. I got to where I never wanted to go on the computer. I didn't want to see cable television. I hated, and I still, by the way, hate having a cell phone. But technology has found a way back into my life. I'm back on the internet. By the way, technology makes it possible for me to come right here in my home studio and do a nationally syndicated radio show every week. So that's kind of cool. And let me tell you what else technology did. It put me back in touch with two people from my past. And when I talk about my past, I'm talking about Dunedin Junior High School in the 1960s. I ran into John Palmer Claridge, one of my dear friends from way back then, on Facebook, of all things. He just found me on Facebook. By the way, my son hooked me up on Facebook, and I'm all of a sudden starting to like it. How strange is that? And then... You know, when I went on John's Facebook page, I ran into my very first girlfriend from junior high school in 1965. Wow, that was a long time ago. And her picture was on there. Okay, now she's the same age as I am. Well, she was born in 1952, and I was born in 1951, so I'm a little older. But, you know, we were in the same grade. Her picture was on John's Facebook page. Now, I gotta tell you something. She looks hot for that. I'm telling you, she looks good. She's married, has a different last name now. Bless her heart. So, all of a sudden, I'm finding technology is just connecting me with old friends and technology is doing all kinds of wonderful things for me. I've been doing a lot of writing. I'm in, as a matter of fact, I'm disciplining myself to write an hour a day. I'm spending an hour a day writing right now, and technology is helping me do that because I, ladies and gentlemen, am the world's worst speller. But you know what? This nifty little box here makes it easy for me to be a good speller because anytime I mess up, it tells me, and it fixes it. It's helping me with my grammar. It's helping me with all kinds of things. So I guess the good old days, well, you know what? If it were the good old days, I couldn't do a nationally syndicated radio show from my house, not to mention fill in for other radio hosts all across the country right here from my house. I couldn't put up all the fun and nifty web pages that I put up and be able to tell my story to people all across the country. I couldn't do all the magnificent YouTube videos that I'm doing right now and having so much fun with and learning how to edit video with my 13-year-old son. Uh, all kinds of wonderful things. So, hey, technology, thanks for Ernesto Durango. I'm Michael Kroos. Maybe I will learn how to text. <laughs>